Klaus got home and he was heating himself just for funsies, and Vlad joined him. Hello brother. Hello Vlad. Did you have fun with Lucas? You did that on purpose, didn't you? You fucker. You hurt my feelings, speaking like this, Klaus. Vlad smirked. I can't believe you left me babysitting on purpose, Vlad. But you had fun. Barely. The guy is like a lost puppy. You know I don't like teaching the newborns. I don't like teach at all. Klaus sat on the couch. I'm moving soon. I bought a place in San Michuno. It's finally time to leave your wings. You don't have to leave, if you don't want to. Like Vicky said earlier, this house has plenty of rooms. I should have left when you married Victoria. Then when she got pregnant. It's time. Are you leaving because Lucas is here? Uh, no. I was searching for a place for a few weeks. I'll leave tomorrow. Everything is set in place. Ah, uh, thanks for everything, brother. Don't you dare vanish. Come here, visit us often. Sentimental bitch, don't expect me to hug you. I wouldn't, but I'm gonna miss seeing your ridiculous face around every day. When Klaus was leaving the house the next day, Lucas reached him. Hey, Klaus, are you leaving? Yes, what the hell is going on? What does he want from me? Can I come with you? What the actual fuck? No. It's better if you stay with my brother and Vicky. Man, I feel like I'm bothering them. You aren't. This is what they do. They help new vampires get a life. Some lives here until they are ready to leave. I can introduce you the last one. His name is Nathan. Seriously, Klaus, we have a connection. Excuse me, what? Oh, come on. We had fun the other day and you're a great teacher. I'm not. My brother is. Go inside, Lucas. You're on good hands here. Lucas was standing still staring at him. Klaus sighed. Fine. I'm not a babysitter, so do your stuff and try not to do anything stupid. You won't regret it. They arrived at San Mishuno. Wow, you and your brother are like rich, right? Yeah, years and years of working our asses hard. Cool. You should be a werewolf. You're like a dog. Thanks, man. It's not a compliment. Now, when you get inside, clean your face and try to not get the whole house dirty. Fine boss. Klaus left for work and it was day. Lucas doesn't have the sun resistance since he's newborn. He was bored and started to search for vampires contents online. What the hell is Twilight Saga? He clicked at the link and he was horrified. If only our skin glowed in the sun. Klaus was back from work. He took a shower and he was looking for a cloth. Even though he's probably just going to wear the same blouse as always, Lucas sat down. What are you doing? Choosing a shirt. Where are we going? You'll stay here. I'm bored, Klaus. Let me come with you. Jesus. What? You're worse than a tick. I'm gonna meet someone. Is this a girlfriend? No. Boyfriend? No. So why can't I go? I'll dump you in my brother's doorstep tomorrow. But can I come with you tonight? If I say no, are you going to keep asking? Of course I will. Fine. Come with me, Lucas. Was it hard? Actually, yes. They both smiled. 